Hey there, one up retro family. So today we are going to do a mod on a arcade one up Street Fighter cabinet, and we are going to convert it into a main cabinet using RetroPie and uh, Raspberry Pi hardware. The uh, Raspberry Pi B plus. All right, so um, I'm gonna have to take the back off. We're not gonna use any of these except for the on, off, and the volume. Okay, now that we've got all of the buttons in place, um, we are going to now remount the new controller board. Just look at the difference between these two. This one is much sturdier. This one is just all plastic and just, I don't know, it just doesn't even... Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit here and um, pre drill a small hole. Actually, what I'm going to use is my little tap bit, and um, I'm just going to go down to that first ridge. So, I've got We're going to be jumping our diodes and for the most part I just tested with my meter and I can show you real quick that on the meter if you set your diode setting to diode test or continuity um, when you're testing a diode you're only going to be getting continuity one way so I've got a diode 
setting on right there. So you're going to see 1.7. Now if I swap these, you can see that I'm getting no reading, which means that it, it's an open. So <clears throat> they've got them marked on here with a red paint. So I just wanted to make sure because I've heard on some that they are actually not correct. So I decided to um, change it up a little bit and um, I'm not going to do what I thought I was going to do with this. I just don't like electrical tape very much. What I am going to do instead, and I better turn on my heater, I don't need it that high, so turn it down to about 320. Um, I'm going to use um, heat, sh heat shrink tubing um, just to, you know, if we ever add any other buttons, maybe to the side or something to the back, um, <clears throat> I don't want to just cut these wires off. Okay, now we've got the controller boards in. I am putting in the screws for the top. That looks so much better. Okay, so now let's actually on this amplifier, I am going to mount that amplifier right here. Okay, so now we've got the retro pie, and I'm putting the uh, double-sided sticky tape. I'm going to double up on it, and I'm probably going to go three rows, um, just because I don't think um, that it's, I mean, it's light enough, but I don't think that the adhesive is good enough to only use a single depth in two rows. So
Well, I just got back to the office and you can see here that these didn't fucking hold. So, which is what I was afraid of. So, what I'm going to have to do is find, it really kind of pisses me off, honestly. But, what can you do? What I'm going to do is put a little, actually, I think I know what I'm going to do, at least on this one. I'm going to put um, hot glue on these boards because I really don't want to drill any holes into these because the monitor is directly behind that. And I'm not in the mood to drill a hole into an LCD. Here is going to heat this up and um, it'll melt this blue. Okay, so now we're wiring in the power supply for the monitor control board. Okay, so now we've got the um, we've got the uh, auxiliary cable, and we are going to connect the auxiliary cable over to the amplifier because the HDMI is going to provide the audio out of the Raspberry Pi. So, what we're going to do is, I got a four foot cable, which is more than plenty, but I couldn't find a three foot cable and I wasn't going to build one. So, um, so we're just going to plug the three millimeter into right here and we're going to run it behind just like we did with all of our other stuff. again so yes and we're just going to hit the button on here so it knows which one we're wanting to configure uh, we just have to hold it so now we're going to go up down left right start select a b x y left shoulder right shoulder and then we're going to go all the way back down through this we'll just hold it while it does its thing and releases. And the hotkey we're going to use is the select button. So, and now we're done. So then it's going to kick us back out and now this one's configured the same way. So what I'm going to do actually is this one's got to be configured the same way. I think I swapped these two buttons. So we're going to do one more time. We're going to configure the input and we're going to hit A and yes. And now we're going to hold a button on here, which is going to be this one. And then up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, and and we're just going to do the exact same thing, just bypass all of these. And um, I've got to check the speaker, make sure that the audio is working correctly. And then the select button on this side is going to be that button and A, and we're done. So now we're going to quit out of this. And we will go back and let's see, we'll just exit out. So I don't know if I'm having audio right now. So I may have to go in and change the audio output. 
Um, but we can check that right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got audio. So I've got the uh, volume control in the back. Oops. Didn't want to do that. We want to cancel this. So we want to get completely out of that. All right. So he is back. So let's um let's just find a game here real quick. We'll go into the arcade and um, got a lot of games on here. We'll just find um we'll just get like ghost pilots here. Uh, final fight. Let's uh, let's grab final fight. There we go. Um, yeah, let's do that one. I haven't played this one, so I'm not sure. Um, it looks like they're. Yeah, it's not gonna run. It's got some missing files, but because it has to load through each of the ROM and the binary files, and if it can't find them, then they won't work. But I know the Japanese one works, or at least it did. So we'll try that. There we go. So we've got our select button. This is going to insert our coins. So once it gets through this, it'll bring us up to our main screen in the intro. Actually sounds pretty good. Well, I think it's gonna be here. It's looking good. And uh, got a little bit of uh, work to do on the back. But um, yeah, the mod went really well. So um, there's the uh, audio amplifier. Boards. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Um, I think uh, we'll probably do another one. I uh, might do one with a uh, glass case. We'll see. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe below. Check us out at oneupretro.com. And if you have any questions, you can email us at info at oneupretro.com. And uh, until next time, uh, game on.